boys. Here comes Mexico. Mexico. So this promises to be possibly the most exciting competition of the World Cup on the Team Cup at the Grand Prix. And now we see Russia coming on to steal the play. These guys are switched on as well. They're here to play the business. Look at those guys coming on. Yeah, definitely pumped. Russia, Mexico have won the, the, uh, the World Cup. Russia are the only of the four nations that haven't won a World Cup. So they definitely like to add that to their resume before going into the World Championships next year. Okay, I'm going to ask you to make a call. Russia or Mexico? We fought first in the group stages for France. And Mexico definitely suffering with two key losses to their team. I think the heavyweight contender for Russia's missing the difference for them. I mean, it's definitely going to be close. Well, I think for strength and power, you've got to say, Russia. The first round, five one-minute matches, individual performances between the nominated players, one to five. And it looks like change from the qualifying rounds, if I'm not mistaken. It's anybody's call. So we're on the way, Russia versus Mexico in the next final. The world take on our team cup. Mexico tries a double. Which is pretty good. Next shot, shot is a span in. And it's a stand in, it's a count. Then you get caught by like that, is it a span in? The stand in eight counts. No points have gone to the board, so I think it's fair to say that the uh, judges are going to award these points quickly. As we try to attack. And there goes the award of three points to Mexico. Mexico, blow, blow. With the blue hoagoos, gold box and head guard. Russia playing red head guard, red hoagoo, and in white, gold box. And if you wanted action, here it is. I feel that's some good action in the air. And on the floor, both players are going down. Came in the headshot for Russia. Not given. Guys, he's put in next to the Mexican up his feet. This time the Congo is given. It's a nice expression start. Yeah, this is supposed to be the camera part of the match, but nobody's given that script to these athletes, thankfully. And that's it, we're going to change round now. Listen to that noise here by the Mexicans. I think our uh, camera might be mounted on the uh, platform where the supporters actually seem to be bouncing a little bit there. Good points go to the oh, head shot, good good. 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 You can't rush in the XL, that's a leap in front leg. Well, the distance, move inside. That's a warning for when they start attacking the event to Russia. If you rush out against this man, you are going to get kicked in the head. And Mexico got disappointed there. Supporters right now opening up to an eight point, sorry, seven point lead. If he tries the back kick, just misses to the side. That's a changeover. Third changeover now. Two to five. Next coming the lead. A bit of clash of legs there, covering the head, making sure that the issue doesn't come over the top. Step to that kick, just first start, hit the shoulder. That's a technical headshot there from Russia. Just catch him on the shoulder. Definitely indicating he wants some action. Abel's just trying to slow it down. 
So about an hour, 30 seconds left in this one. Nice double moving in. The low impact there, but not a problem for the Mexican. Wish he could do some more points on the board, trying for the headshot. And a beautiful bit of technique. Not in range, but still goes up there for the headshot again. Oh! Did that impact? I didn't think so. Going on, we've got a problem with some padding. Yep, the foot sensor, the Russian's foot sensor's come off. And the referee allowed to fight without him, which we talked about earlier on, Luke. Quite interesting, it's not required. The PSS is not being used. Yeah. And another changeover. Plays number four of five. Number four is Isaac Torres. Oh, a beautiful catch to back it by the Russian. And his score has got the point. The judges are simply down there, see the second point has been awarded. That's it, it's been awarded. Now, all on, I beg you. And he said there's another point, it looks like it's been awarded to me already. Yeah, it's a count now. Okay, that's interesting. Catches within two points. So, number four from Russia fights in the under 80 category. One medalist from Puebla. And number four from Mexico is an under 68 fighter. New rising star from Mexico. Already Pan American champion. Just throw the pace down slightly now. Nice double by Russia. Trying to pick up the body shot. Down to back kick and then takes a hook to the head. No points given, and rightfully so. We have got a point that's registered there. Interesting. There was a big delay. He just explained to the referee, so we might have a temporary glitch there. Let's hope that's all it was. Which has been given, a point has been taken off. So, I believe that that was the second point. I think two points were given by the referee for the technical back kick with the score. So I think the judges did score the technical back kick, the technical point for the back kick. And then the referee didn't realise that and the second point was awarded. So I believe that's what the situation is. If so, it's been called by the corner judges. One to match number five, or pairing number five in this first round. Two points differentiate between the teams. Let's take off for the head drop. That was a nice head shot that, got him on the chin. No points though. Judges might have missed that. That is what he thinks about the uh, Judges scoring the kicks. They have to have the right angle to be able to see without any doubt the score, the point of score. So that's one of the reasons why electronic head guards were brought in. Because that looked to Luke and myself to be a clear headshot, but it wasn't given, and that's possibly because two of the judges were in a position where they want to be able to see that clearly. So just a two-point gap between the players. The closing few seconds now of this first round. It's living up to our expectations. That's the first round out of the way. Five seconds left, straight away. Mexico starts with that. One of their main players, Sal. Big left arm, front leg. Front leg headshot, man. We've seen some real scoring by him. He's already tall enough, but he likes to jump with it as well. He's tying himself up a little bit there with the Russian, but both points players might to avoid getting penalties. <laughs> Russian draws one back. <laughs> nice spin in there, counter, jumps underneath, hand to the floor, no come, go give in. That's all what's out. Change, do you see a change here? We've got, we can't see the uh, light of the change from Russia. Mexico are definitely changing. There's some confusion here. That red light hasn't got it. No, it has. Right, they should be changing here. They should be making a change. I'm not sure if they, um, they can see that. 
agenda has been signed for me. Right, the Russians are calling, they want to make the change. So they're making the switch. It's the up yet, we can see the signs now for the change. Three points between the two teams, Dibbles, both players doubling, one on the attack, one on the counter. No point score. Steps into the axe, goes up to the present. Fast explosive action, jumping back in reverse. Warning's given a gap, Dibbles given. Lots of activity there, not many points awarded. The Mexican players looking around at his coach, Russia moved in. Fortunately, it didn't impact there. And he's to stay awake, Damien. That's a bit of a mistake by the Mexican. Looking up, you'd be like, oh, that's a head, to the head. No, that was the head. Mexican players said it was his shoulder, not actually impacted his head, but it was. Damien wants out, it's been but bullied over. It's a couple of tongues given. This. Goes in the jumping kick. Level game side. now, 12 12. To make it interesting. Mexican goes high. Does it get through? Got to be careful, these chunk goes. Yeah, Mexico lost the six point lead. It does about 20 seconds there. Yeah. So, so the match is resumed, 12 12. Yeah. Issue goes high. Mexico makes a change. Well, this is just slow down a little bit there. Step up to Chaggy, no point. Good cover, go to the headshot. That was a nice attempted headshot there. Strong kick into the body. Scores actually 13-13. And look into the body by Russia. Bit of taunting in there. Abel widening his arms. Where's my point? And the Russians did the same. Mexican staying in his one tip his opponents come through. Goes up for the headshot. Good tight defense by the Russian. Mexico switch. Straight in there. He's going to go up for that headshot off that left leg that we've seen so many times. Pulls off the back leg. He's got slight reach advantage. Tremendous action in the second round. Red wants to make a change, it is like you're fine now, so that problem seems to be uh, overcome now. Fast double attack there by the Mexican, no score. Just looking for counter off the back leg. Leads it as a check. Mexican gets a kill go, warning. Let's go down to Russia, Ted's high. No points being scored in that exchange, a little bit disappointing there. Mexico have hit the deck quite a lot. Wrapping up maybe six or seven full deductions there. Need to be careful with that. Again, not because of disqualification, but every time two count goes two warnings, these are the extra points is awarded to your opponent. The Mexicans have definitely outscored their Russian opponents, but these deductions are backed up. That's why it's a level game ish. The crowd is really getting behind their boy now. Actually, just slow down slightly as we've got the heavier weights on. Yeah, it's good to see these counts reverse turning kicks being thrown. They're not connecting as yet in some cases, but long body shot. Nice kick that. The Mexican athlete, originally from the Dominican Republic, but one of the substitutes brought in by Mexico. He actually fights in 74 kilograms. Traditionally. Player, the probably the most popular of the Mexican team. Very fast, very dynamic. Got a little bit of a weak disadvantage here against Russia. Beautiful nice counter fight. back kick. You move them across about three or four mats there. That's that silence the Mexican crowd. That was what we'd like to see. Old school that with the first bag in effect.
Disco changing. And then the left leg is got it. Trying to right leg double. Right leg there, though. The foot in the arm now. Yeah, but I didn't quite connect, did it? So. Last few seconds. That's it. 16 16. Okay, we've got the action, you've got the kicks, you've got the spinning kicks. In blue, Russia, in red, with white hoagies. Tries a spinning kick there, gets a kill up against the claw. Get this Canadian referee. Again, an Olympic referee. Some of the best officials in the world for the best matches in the world. Oh, oh that's a left shot there. In close, where did that come from? That was phenomenal. The crowd are not too happy about it. Mexico are complaining that it was after Cario. Yeah. It was quite quick to knock this if it was. We might need to see a replay of that one. I, I think it was a bad score. I think the referee was coming in to declare Cario, but I think that kick had started was being delivered before, so I think he should stand. It's Russia now who's taking the headshots. Yeah, they're definitely taking it to Mexico. They know they're hit with that. Back up a few congos, pick us a points on the way in. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, goes up the head again, under the left leg head from Mexico. No points scored there, but not for lack of trying by either team. The Russia need to put on their heavy, heavyweight guy. His first back leaf for his, his front left leg. No, he is back now. Russia leading by two points. Here he comes. Will Mexico make a change there? Yeah. yeah, Mexico changing too. That's a low kick. So that Russian weighs about 90 kilos. The sow is only about 63. It's a 30 kilo difference. That, would, that kick would have hurt. It did go low as well, just with the bottom of the trunk protector. So it wasn't penalised for but it was definitely cooking for money. Here comes Abel, go well, seven minutes from last year. And watch this boy go. He's getting into it. Step up and try to the body, great speed. And he scores with it, tries to count the back kick. Goes to four, gets the other jump go. It's a nice back leg there from Russia, to the back. Mexico's down, the Mexico's down, he's going to get a jump go. He needs to make a change. I don't know if he got a low yeah. kick there or he felt that he was uh, kicked low. Yeah. Go for there. Level game, 2020. That gets the crowd excited. Let's go just to stay control. The outscore. Yeah. Don't keep on the feet, don't get the cut goes. Counter back in by Russia. Not scored by the judges. Don't look like a scoring technique. Teddy to me, Luke. Yeah, this, this guy can he can throw the back kicks. Make a change. Mexico make a change. Russia staying there. They're all changing as well. Going for the lighter players. Fast double by Russia. Fast lead leg attack by Mexico. And they're by themselves. Mexico take the lead now. Oh, Russia put one back. 20 all, 21 all. Did well to stay on the feet, both players there. Triple by the Mexican out there, back and back. Nothing on the board. Here comes Sal. Interesting choice of the front there. There's body. Picks him up on the way in, counts to the body. This Mexico one point lead. We should get some fun go. That's an interesting choice by the uh, Russians there. Yeah. One shot by Mexico. 
The spectators definitely thought he scored the Dribbles haven't given it as yet. That was not popular, that looked like a headshot. It was certainly close. I'm surprised Russia haven't switched this guy out yet. He's definitely got a reach advantage and the change is happening now. He's sending him off. That seemed like a strange choice there, that might have cost Russia nearly. Fesco jumps in straight away with the kick. Going to punch it. Oh, oh no! Time to reverse to the head. Looked like it just fell so short. Close. I think it was just over the shoulder. It did just fall short. Tries to counter back kick for two points. One point game. Last 80 seconds. We can't really bad that team here. Interesting shots again by Russia to bring the lighter player on. Mexico responding accordingly. Cautious yeah. start by both of them. They can't go again. They're playing the floor slippery there. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a slippery floor or not. It's the same for everybody I have been for five days of action. Look at tight score, 25-25. One minute left. Tight game. Goes up to the headshot. Wilson covers it, Wilson covers it. He gets a cut goal. Gives Russia takes the lead, 26 to 25. There's a point to the crowd because they thought they got to score. He keeps hitting the deck. He needs to stay on his feet. That's having a big impact, these cut goals. Really, we're leading now by the Congo. Don't get me wrong, their techniques are phenomenal, but the Mexican players have gone to four. That's another good point there from Russia. Two point lead for Russia. Just over 30 seconds left now. Russia is leading by two points. It's taking down the clock. Smart, but even clever. Tries to counter back in the tiny each other up here. Let's go change, push the changes. Davies definitely deserves some doubles and triples. Let's go to the body. Nothing is yet. The whole shut down. Push it goes high, tries for the headshot. 15 seconds. Edge him back. Rush is through time up, trying to turn him around. Referee breaks him and gives him a warning for holding. That's a point. 27 26. Let me get behind that guy. Goes up to the middle, goes to four. Another jump goal, he needs to stay on his feet. That could cost him dearly. That might be a gamble there for Russia, he's gone back way too fast. He's got just a jump goal, he's just giving it a jump goal. They're making the change. Two Last points seven separated. seconds. Two points to get. Russia goes for the headshot. Russia gets their headshot, you score? No. That's my seconds. Just jump on the way, jump on the way. That's it! Russia are the World Cup champions! What a brilliant, brilliant match! All credit to the Russians! Both players did spectacular, both teams did spectacular Jennings. What went against the Mexican team were all the cup goals. But went back to four, they want that flag, they want to celebrate. I think really the, thing, the only thing that differentiated these two teams was the number of cut goals that the Mexicans got by going to four. So I think to a certain extent, the have got himself to blame for this. But the Mexicans are absolutely delighted. They're over the moon. Yeah, Mexico has outscored their opponents in terms of techniques, but they've just given away seven, eight, nine more points in the, in the penalties. And that's made the difference here. Russia kept it simple, kept on some, some strong headshots. Well, the Russians are celebrated, they're over the moon, and rightfully so. We've got a very attractive Russian ladies team just out of shot. They're doing some support for their French team. And the crowd's going well, supporting the Mexicans who put up a tremendous effort. And this is great for Taekwondo. though. With Russia holding the World Championships next year. The men's team in the world team are the world champions. The yeah, Russian supporters, the Russian female team, the Grand Prix champion there, Alexei Denisenko. 
the moment in their team. Great result for them. Well, what a tremendous result for Russia. They, again, let's talk about the European force. 